So in this video, we're going to do a chain stitch. So I already have my stab stitches in there. Uh, if you're not sure what that means, have a look at that tutorial on starting off your stitching. So I'm just going to turn this frame around so you can see what I'm doing a little bit easier. So I'm coming up at the very beginning of that line and I'm going back down in the same hole. Okay, it doesn't have to be the same hole, but pretty close to it is good. I'm going to leave this loop of thread on the top. I'm not pulling all the way through. Leave a loop of thread on the top. Come up again a little bit further along that line. And you're inside that loop of thread so that when you pull and you want to pull down along that line, you'll catch that loop. Okay. And again, where my thread is coming from, I'm going to go back down at the same point. So I'm inside of that loop that I just made. And again, I'm leaving a loop on the top of the fabric and coming up a little bit further along that line and just pulling through. You want to make sure that you pull down in the direction that you're going. Okay. And again, where my thread is coming from, that's where I'm going back down. Leaving a loop. Come up inside the loop and pull. And again, back down at that point. and up and pull. Now you want to make sure that you are pulling down because if I pull back up the other way, I lose that loop completely, okay? So if that does happen, you just have to kind of tease it back out. Try to pull the threads back out a little bit so that you can get that loop sitting nicely again there. All right. And again, where my thread is coming from, I go back down at the same point and just a little bit further along that line. And I'm just going to cut that knot out of the way. Now, when you come to the end of a line, if you're running out of thread or if you're just at the end of your design line, your very last stitch, instead of going back down inside that loop, the same point where your thread is coming up, the very last stitch, you're going to go down just on the outside of the loop. OK, so you're just catching that loop with one little straight stitch over the end. Maybe I can zoom in and you can see that a little bit clearer. There's just one straight stitch at the end there. Okay. And then when you come along with your new piece of thread to finish off that line, you're going to come up inside that last loop and head back down where your thread is coming from. And we're back to just stitching that chain stitch normally. Okay. Creating those loops and then pulling tight. So this is another stitch that's very good for any sort of line work. And um, you can see it's a slightly thicker line. So if you want a thicker, bolder look, chain stitch can be really nice. It's another really nice one for lettering as well. Now, so that is your chain stitch.
As always, if you have any questions, do let me know. I'll try my very best to answer them.